afternoon to all of you. I'm grateful that so many of you have accepted our invitation to be present at this press conference at very short notice. I want to begin by thanking the thousands of Congress workers, the block presidents, the two district Congress committee presidents, the presidents and members of the frontal organizations, such as the Youth Congress, NSUI, Madhila Congress, and the Seva Dal, and all others for making Jago Convention. I also want to thank the people of Goa for turning up in large numbers, functions, sometimes even on the sidewalks of roads, to greet him and wave to him. Uh, the number of people who stopped him on the way and where he had lunch, who wanted to take selfies, photographs, all that showed that the response was tremendous. I want to thank everyone. Today, unexpectedly, unexpectedly means I thought on the eve of Diwali they will not do this. The government has announced once again an increase in prices. As of yesterday night, the prices of petrol and diesel have touched unprecedented levels. It's 115 rupees per litre in Mumbai. It's 120 rupees a litre in some places in Rajasthan, like Ganganagar. It is in Goa, 106 rupees a litre of petrol. And diesel is not far behind. It has also crossed 100. <clears throat> Maybe the Modi government thought that because not too many centuries are being scored in the cricket test match, his government may score a century both in petrol and diesel. What they have done is shameful condemnable. Today, they have hiked commercial <laughs> gas to 2,000 rupees a cylinder. If commercial gas goes up to 2,000 rupees a cylinder, it means prices of food items served in hotels and restaurants will go up. 266 rupees alone today is an increase. It's no longer small increases. The Modi government has decided we are sucking blood anyway. Why should we draw blood in drops? Let us draw large quantities of blood. What they are doing, what they have done, and what they are doing is nothing but squeezing every Indian citizen, <coughs> rich or poor, and the poor, of course, suffer most by these exorbitant, unconscionable, condemnable increase in prices. There is absolutely no economic justification for this rise in prices. And blind to the suffering of the people. There is absolutely no economic justification for this price rise. This price rise is only because of high taxation. The effective rate of tax on petrol, of central government tax alone, is 33%. On diesel, it is 32%. On a single commodity, 
to levy a 33% tax and a 32% tax is completely unacceptable. It's more than the corporate tax rate. Please remember, corporates which make billions of rupees <coughs> are taxed at a lower rate, whereas petrol and diesel are being taxed at 33% and 32%. Fuel taxes are the most regressive taxes. They affect the rich and the poor alike. If a rich man buys a liter of petrol, he pays the same tax. The poor man, for his two-wheeler, pays the same tax, which is why we call it a regressive tax. If the government wants money, wants revenue, there are other avenues to raise money through progressive taxes. Instead of resorting to progressive taxation, this government is resorting to regressive taxation. We condemn it in the strongest terms. In order to show our protest to this extraordinary Diwali gift, which the Modi government has given to the people of India, the Goa Pradesh Congress Committee will organize a major demonstration on the 3rd of November in Mapusa. Diwali is the occasion where you burn the effigy of Narakasura. We will burn symbolically the specter of Rice rice asura. In Konkani, it is called Mangai Sura. Details will be announced by the GPCC president by tomorrow. It is in Mapusa on the 3rd. There are many issues. The person or persons against whom the allegation of corruption was made should go to court. Or the Modi government should drop the governor. The fact that nobody has gone to court and the fact that Mr. Satyapal Malik continues to be the governor of a state only means that the Modi government and the BJP and the Goa government are frightened out of their wits. They dare not take any action against the governor. It means that they accept what the governor said is correct. More skeletons will tumble out. This is just a first installment, I'm sure. The governor has also made accusations against the administration in Kashmir after President's rule was imposed. Who else will he accuse? I don't know. But please remember, he's a sitting governor appointed by the Narendra Modi government and he's making an accusation against the sitting Goa government of the BJP. And yet the BJP is silent, the Goa government is silent, and the central government continues to tolerate Mr. Satyapal Malik as governor, which only means that Satyapal Malik is perhaps most likely speaking the complete truth. Finally, today is the day when all roads in Goa must become pothole free. It's a good time for Mr. Gadkari to visit uh, Goa. I wish he travels by the roads which are under his portfolio. Have all the roads become pothole free? The Margoa Panaji Road has, still has Potholes. Mr. Digambar Kamath drove this morning and he will tell you the number of potholes he had to encounter.
There are several roads, my friends will tell you, which are the roads. Shiolim to Mopsa Road. Mrs. Sangeeta Parab told me this morning is full of potholes. She drove by that road. Mr. Sequera told me that the Telegon <coughs> Road is full of potholes. And in Pato, where we have an election office, what have they done over the last two days? I was watching it with amusement. They have put one thin layer of tar to cover the potholes. This will not last one rain. A road is not laid or relayed like that. You have to remove the entire upper crust, put gravel, then tar, and then the final layer of tar. They've just put one layer of tar, and this will dissolve and the, when the first rains come. <coughs> the Youth Congress will highlight the number of potholes that remain even after the deadline that the chief minister fixed for himself. It shows that they make reckless promises, they are inefficient in implementing their promises, and the people continue to suffer. I think I'll stop here, and I will ask uh, Mr. Kamath if he wishes to say a few words, to say a few words. Kahi disabayli. Youth Congress in exhibition, competition, spot the pothole and take the prize. As a launching, Maja Atatlan Dalne, the launching can lay me Nivdinagar, there is a old Kante Asile, then we were on our way selfie garden, and this selfie Makasha put the thing Kanji Pulit of Pada Dakopagati, he bends down as a Kuru Naji selfie card, he judges the Pada this hour. This selfie is very popular. All over Goa, Pauli. You can see the phone. And Chief Minister has a selfie. Chief Minister has a comment. He 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 has a discussion. क्या बड़ा जन आवे कि मिनिस्टर आजा ने पीडब्ल्यूडी मिनिस्टर जन अंदर एक आदम दिले क्या हमारे सगरे साउथाज्य मंत्री ये चार रस्ते वेलन होता है हाँ उस सदा मड़गांव टू पंजे या तो ये चार रस्ते वेलन है सर तुमका दिस ना कशे हैं कि जहाँ तक ये थे दिल्ली बिल्कुल मुझे कंपनी पूल मानता है क्या या कॉन्ट्रैक्टर आप तुम्हें सागा रिचार्ज का काम दो दिन बंद हो सब्जेक्ट पर ही नहीं यह रस्ते का काम कर यह रस्ते सुरसुरित करा मार्च तक अंताने एश्वरन दिनों का हमने करता हुए कोणाजी दे रस्ते जे सर्वे पोटोस कर पाजे ये दरों से सर्वे लेवल कर पाजो काम कोणाजी नहीं मगर वो एश्वरन दिन ले कि मिल आज एक तारीख जाली आज सकारे हम दिन चला गया थे लोग गाड़ियाँ की लाइन लगता तुम जब भी कहीं ना होता आसले मर गाँव तो मर गाँव चला था आसले थे गाड़ियाँ की लाइन लगता पिछले जब टॉयटा शुरू हुआ तो ताज़े मुकार पे थे जाला थे पहले जाले कि सरकार आशा एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आशा क्या ना तो प्रश्न अच्छी अच्छी परिस्थिति आ सा मजा आता नरकासुर बाबड़े तीन तार के एक लोग नरकासुर के उन बहुत आ अंगाजन थे वो तले तेंचा थे ये तले सगड़े करे ये तले नरकासुर वाजी परिस्थिति कितना थी मुनाना वो तंग सुधर शाम तक तेरे बाबड़े मरवा मेरे पाना करम गाड़ी तेरे और दादा गाड़ी हालते नहीं तो मा� पंद्रह पंद्रह मिनटाने आपने फाटना नाथ लाल पहुंचे पर टम्बड़ बाय लाश आ गया ना थी ये परिस्थिति आज सभी रास्ते जी डाल लिया था अरे बोले यार सामान्य मन जाके रिएक्शन तो किन्हीं कर दागा मटर तुम्हें चार ही सामना रहा था मरे तुम्हें किन्हीं कर दागा मटर रास्ते जाके जुबान है ना 
On the following uh, comments of uh, Tejasvi Surya, <coughs> with references on uh, our leader, Mr. Rahul Gandhi's visit to Goa, every congressman uh, from our party is demanding explanation from him on the Thailand entrance. I would like to know from him whether he has visited Thailand. If yes, the infrastructure, what is there, he should take his tourism minister and incorporate that to our industry with the infrastructure. If he has not visited, then he should he should exactly you know try to say what he what he means. What is in his mind? Does he want to equate Thailand in the demeaning sense? Is he trying to say that Thailand should be the primary choice? of every tourist in Asia, whether Goa, that tourist should consider Goa a second, second place, a secondary option. Once again, if he has not visited, he should visit. He should discard his ignorant and immature comments about our leader. Go there and see for himself on, in the comment and consider it that it is an insult on our land. It's a direct insult on our land. His ignorant comments, I would like to remind you about orgasm of Aram woman in his poverty tweet in 2015. If he, a, a Dubai woman, called him out on these comments and labeled him as, in, as having a bringing of poor and lack of respect for women, and that would be his downfall. If he is blacklisted, I don't know. He should, uh, from the Congress party, we want him, we should, you know, engage him to book flights to. Dubai or the Middle East and instead of Thailand remarks and his, his miserable status, he should correct himself. And I want to remind him that he is a hate monger who speaks about the Mughal Raj and has incited his own people on communal hatred and garbage. And like last, I would like to say that my advice to him is very clear. Even his football skills, he need to improve. He needs to introspect. He needs to improve his language. The next time you are here, you better improve your language. And we from the Congress party are going to focus on our positives of our leader, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, visit to Goa. Our all grassroots workers are really humbled and would, would like to you know, see his connect with the people, the way he has connected with the people. It's highly appreciable. We from the Congress party are well pleased and we would like to, on a positive note, take our Congress party to a greater height. Yeah. So, yes. So you have been a uh, finance minister, you know about all these things, uh, about increasing prices. And every day, by this increase of fuel or even about the gas, don't you feel that it will be very badly, badly affected? The common man, and it will be very <laughs> difficult for the human being. Uh, you are absolutely correct. Please read the Reserve Bank of India's October bulletin. The Reserve Bank of India says that because of pump prices of fuel, that is petrol and diesel, consumption of the average household on other items, including essential items, has declined, which means people are buying less milk, less protein, less fruit, less vegetables, because they are spending more on petrol and diesel. This is not my statement, this is the RBI statement. Household debt has increased, savings have declined, and deficits have declined. Again, these are RBI statements. And this is the fourth 
consecutive month in which RBI has asked the government specifically to reduce pump prices of fuel by cutting taxes. No central bank can be more blunt. It has bluntly told the government, you must reduce pump prices by cutting taxes. But this government is completely deaf. What could be the reason for the famine has been increased, sir? Because you know, everywhere it says the high taxation is really in India. It is, but uh, I don't think the BJP cares whether India is pulled down or not. The BJP is only concerned whether its crony friends are making a huge profit in the stock market. Is it uh, just to help somebody? I don't know who they are helping. They are certainly not helping the people of India. Yesterday, a young man in Goa who was supposed to call on me drove all the way from Mapsa to Pan Pan Panaji and in the last few minutes there was a shower and he got drenched. So when he walked into my hotel, I asked him, why are you drenched? Did you not come by car? He says, I have a car, but I took my two-wheeler today because with petrol prices at this level, how can I afford to drive from Mapsa to Panaji and back to Mapsa every other day? So I took my two-wheeler. Everybody is cutting corners. And the average household is cutting on milk, vegetables and fruit, and maybe even medicines, because they have to pay huge fuel prices. Yes, thanks. Uh, uh, sir, uh, your comment on the Mamta Benji statement, she said that our Congress is making Modi strong. Mm -hmm. What is your answer? The Congress is the only party which is fighting Mr. Narendra Modi and his government all over India, underline all over India. I do not dispute that uh, Ms. Mamta Banerjee fought and won a very tough fight in Bengal. But who is fighting Mr. Narendra Modi in Punjab, Haryana, Maharashtra, <coughs> Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Assam? It's a Congress party which is fighting her. So, she is looking at it from the Bengal lens. But if you look at All India, which is more than Bengal, which is 30 states and union territory, the party that is in the forefront of the fight against Mr. Narendra Modi, every day, writing, tweeting, addressing press conferences, commenting, agitations is the Congress party. Will TMC coming to go make a dent for Congress here? Well, I don't know what your intention is, but I'm pretty sure that the people of Goa know that if they want a change of government in Goa, it is a Congress alone which can provide the change of government. Sir, my question to the Chief of the President. Uh, uh, sir, Kal uh, Klima statement that you have two arms that are almost BJP in the meeting. Sir, the Congress has been given the right to the Chief Minister should first try to focus. Should try to focus on good governance and resolve all the burning issues in Goa before focusing in Congress. Why is more interested into Congress affairs than his party affairs and his good governance? He has not uttered a word <coughs> even after Mr. Satyapal Malikji, former governor, has clearly said that is the most co uh, corrupt chief minister and uh, his government is corrupt. So he is trying to avoid all those questions which people of Goa are expecting to answer and he is answering something that is irrelevant to him. He is not a chief minister of Congress party. 
He is not a leader of Congress party. Why he has to bother about Congress party? We have our leaders who are capable handling Congress office. So he is not responding to any of the questions we raised on behalf of people. He is pressurizing his department not to reply the RTIs that we are putting. Our leader of opposition has put a question on the COVID issue which, is, uh, affect, which has affected Goans. He is running away from even replying those questions in assembly and is uh, trying to uh, hide and pose certain questions to Congress. So he is responsible to, to answer these questions to go up. Goans are waiting for these all burning issues. He is not uh, responding any to on three linear projects. So he is not responding on the potholes. Where is the financial position of Goa? Is almost crossed 20, 26,000 crores liability. So he should respond to these questions and he should not interfere in somebody other houses with, when his house is burning. What is the Congress? 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 What is so you better ask uh, Pramod Savan to leave. He will know better. So, see, it is our uh, uh, leader who Congress party's issue. Why the chief minister has to bother about us? Yes, he has to. He, what is his responsibility today? He is to serve the Goa who are suffering. See the price size, where, where is responding to the price size? Okay. This government of Goa is a government of defectors. Let not the chief minister try to wish away that label. It's a government of defectors. And the statement of the chief minister yesterday is that he and his party encourage defections. Goa's what some other state sometime used to be, Ayaram Gayaram state, Goa has earned that name as a state of defections. And the BJP is solely responsible for earning that name for Goa. And this chief minister in his statement yesterday seems to be encouraging defections. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.